I'd like to call those who are still having coffee to please join us here at the empty seats. Right here at the beige seats, please just don't occupy the first two rows because they are reserved for panelists and speakers. Again, for those of us who are still at the back, please finish up on your coffee and your water or if you're having a snack, swallow them right now very, very quickly. So please join us again at the seats. And for those of you who are still at the back, you may occupy the seats in the middle. So please, please move forward, join us. I'm sure you would love to hear more, know more on how to go beyond and expand globally for your businesses and for your industries and crafts. So again, welcome to the Pioneer Forum Manila. Gonna hear a round of applause, everybody. Yes, good morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Aaron Adao. I will be your host for today's forum. Again, I would like to call the rest of us to please, please move forward so that you can hear and see our speakers and panelists better. We have a loaded program today, so I hope your notes are ready. You have deleted stuff from your phones as well so that you can jot down notes on your devices. And speaking of devices, and for those who have been going live or online, our official hashtags are, one of which you have been seeing here, it's hashtag Payoneer Go Beyond. Again, one of our hashtags is hashtag Payoneer Go Beyond, and the other one is hashtag Payoneer Forum Manila 2018. So for your online posts, please, please do not forget to post those. You have been hearing me doing voiceover work a while ago and I've been talking about the QR code that you need to scan so I just brought this planner for reference I hope you were able to use it a while ago so I'll just show you the card it's the small white card inserted right here as you can see it has a QR code right here this is the QR code that you need to scan all right we don't really have IDs we have stickers there's nothing on our stickers really so again it's in the coupon or the card inserted in our planner so it's right here i'm sure you can just check it out you all received your planners right from your registration so make sure that the card did not fall off otherwise well sorry no qr codes for you so but don't worry for for inquiries about Payoneer and everything that they do, you can just visit their booth outside. So we have a Payoneer booth outside. Obviously, this event has been brought to us by Payoneer. Can we give Payoneer a big hand, please? Thank you so much, Payoneer, for giving us this opportunity to get connected with one another. They've been doing this for quite some time, and I kind of need a little bit of help in doing something while I say some stuff, all right? So can you go say, what? I can't hear you. It's like we don't we didn't have coffee just yet. What? All right. Every time I finish something, I want to hear you say that. All right. So this event has been brought to us by Payoneer. All right. They have been servicing over 200 countries. They have helped millions of businesses and professionals and still counting. All right. We can start. We can stop with the one. <laughs> I just needed your participation because I am sure a lot of our speakers and panelists would love to hear you do that as well. But just so you know, they have done that. Payoneer has been doing that and it's still going on right now. And I'm sure you would love to get to know a little bit more about Payoneer later on once I introduce our first speaker. And the thing about Payoneer is that they have been helping us receive and give payments globally as easily as we can do it locally so imagine that if you're from the province and then you have like a client somewhere in Canada or maybe all the way in Europe payments can now be transacted much easier thanks to the help of Payoneer so to tell us a little bit more about what Payoneer does and what they can offer us and of course to formally and officially kick things off for us today i would like to welcome on stage payoneers regional head for southeast asia let's all give a big hand for mr miguel warren good morning everybody good morning. you know that was good but it can still be better i think so one more time good morning everybody good morning. oh that's awesome thank you so much and first off Welcome to this year's Pioneer Forum Manila. 
We're trying something very, very new and interesting this year because this year we are delivering content which is designed to help you as freelance professionals, agency owners, and, small, and SME BPOs better capitalize on the global trends that are available to you. So Payoneer, we opened our office here in the Philippines about three years ago almost. And since then, we've been to more than 30 cities all over the Philippines. We've spoken to thousands of freelance professionals, online agencies and SME BPOs. And we've also enabled hundreds of millions of dollars in cross-border trade globally. But what we really wanted to do is to get closer to our customers, to better understand their needs, to provide the proper context within which to deliver our solutions and to add value. And one of the key themes that keeps coming back whenever we are talking to, um, for example, an agency in Iligan City, right? Or a small IT startup in Baguio. The key thing that keeps coming back is that desire for global growth. How do I get more business? How do I expand to other countries? How do I work with more clients? And today, that's what we hope to bring you. We've got an absolutely amazing list of speakers. We've got industry association heads that also have their own startups. We've got um, a panel discussion of potential clients and payers that will help you get more insight into how to better market yourself to your clients. We've got success stories of people that started as individual freelancers but now operate big BPOs. And we've also got a panel discussion of service providers and partners to the online outsourcing agency. And I'm super excited to be here with you today. I hope you get a lot of value out of today. Thank you so much for coming. And it is my pleasure right now to introduce someone who has been an amazing supporter to the online outsourcing and freelancing industry in the Philippines. Um, a man who has literally traveled all over the country doing so much for us as Filipinos to raise our global competitiveness in this industry and someone who I've seen work tirelessly helping small businesses become successful. This is none other than Yusek Mon Ibrahim from the Department of Information and Communications Technology. Mon, could you come up here on stage, please? Thank you for being here. Thank you, Miguel, and thank you for having me here. Good morning to everyone. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. That's right. Can I, say, uh, can I see a show of hands here? Anyone here who's actually a graduate of uh, our Rural Impact Sourcing Analysis uh, Initiative? Oh, nobody. Okay. Thank you. Um, that means uh, more work for us. Okay. Um, as I've said, uh, thank you, Miguel, for having me here. You know, when I joined government 12 years ago, after retiring from my previous life, okay, I was, my marching orders from the president who asked me to join our team was actually make the Philippines a global leader in the IT and BPO sector. And because I come from Marawi City, I told myself, okay, we need to bring more opportunities to the countryside. And that's precisely what I did. 
I created the Next Wave Series initiative. We've, uh, which is actually uh, something that I copied from India. Uh, I worked there for a couple of years in, uh, in Bangalore. And uh, this is actually their tier two, tier three series services initiative. Okay. Um, fast forward to 20, 2015. In a matter of, was of uh, nine years, we were actually able to really put the Philippines in the global map, make the Philippines a global leader. And this was not just something that uh, was government led, because we got everyone in the private sector to be involved, whether in the IT industry, okay, all the movers and shakers in the was this in the in the industry were actually involved. But the question at that point at, at that time was, so what have what have we done for cities like Butuan City? Surigao City, Dinagat Island, okay, in Lamitan City in uh, Basilan, in Kalinga Apayao. These are cities not probably not even the next 10 years would be ready to take on, you know, companies like Convergys, Teleperformance, Accenture, the global leaders in the BPO sector. Once again, I look back at my time, at the time when I was working in India. In India, at the time, they have actually an initiative there that was uh, funded by uh, Microsoft and uh, a huge uh, foundation, and they call it Impact Sourcing. It was basically, basically meant to provide opportunities for the untouchables, okay? The idea was to change the lives of the untouchables by bringing opportunities to where they are and get capacitate them to be able to work from home, doing BPO work. So in 2015, I decided to actually create something. I added rural in the name of Moses, of, uh, so we called it rural impact sourcing, okay? And to my amazement, at that time, there were already more than a million Filipinos in the free, online freelancing sector. Amazing. Even, you know, uh, Iligan City, which is actually my second city, if you go there right now, there are probably 5,000 people doing online freelancer. Fast forward to 2018. Through the help we got actually was this the support of uh, Senator Sani Angara, okay? He liked what we did in Capatagan, Lalo del Norte. He liked what we did in uh, uh, in Agusan. He liked what we did in uh, his own province of uh, Aurora and uh, uh, other cities, okay? He decided to put in additional budget for DICT to level up, scale up the whole project. And today, we've actually been to almost every province in the Philippines where we've done rural impact sourcing training. But the training is not just about capacitating them. It is also working with the local government in order to sustain the project. We asked the local government, if you can actually give us a space, we'll give you the computers, the connectivity and everything, okay, so that the only thing we need from you is, number one, make this a 24-hour operation, okay? Number two, the next batch of training will have to come from the first batch that we did here, so it rolls over. One good thing about this project is that every trainee, we partnered them with MSMEs, who we believe are actually right to sell, as far as selling their products, globally is concerned. Tremendous success. And that is where we met Miguel in one of our, of our uh, 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 projects. Today, most of these trainees 
have actually created their own agencies. I don't know where they're actually getting the projects, okay? But, uh, you know, this is a development that's also making Miguel so happy because uh, <laughs> of the business from both the trainees as well as the MSMEs whom we have actually capacitated to have online presence. So we're excited. Exciting times are ahead of us, okay? Just last Monday, I was invited to speak in the, uh, the Joint Foreign Chamber Arancada Forum on uh, the creative economy. They asked me, what is government doing to prepare Philippines for the fourth IR? What are we doing, what are you doing to actually prepare Filipinos to be able to do future work? And I was so amazed that they were asking me those questions because when it was my time to present, I told them the future of work is in the Philippines. The future of work is in the Philippines. Okay? You go out there to far-flung countryside places and you see people there working from home, providing services globally. We just need to continue working together because this is definitely changing the lives of Filipinos so that they don't have to come to Metro Manila, they don't have to come to Cebu, okay, to the major cities just to be able to find decent jobs. We will continue with this and with your help, hopefully the next batch of government people truly understand what it would take uh, for us to change was this, the landscape out there. The key for improving the lives of Filipinos is to bring, for government to bring the initiatives to the countryside. Okay. And with this, I was actually supposed to be tasked to welcome all of you. So I'm going to say this, welcome to the Pioneer Forum Manila. Maraming maraming salamat po.